Hey YouTube, Copersan here. All this grinding and fighting the black mage is fun and all, but sometimes all we need is a throwback to simpler days. So introducing Classic Maple Story Episode 1. This beautiful game we all grew up with over the years. Man, I can't wait to get back into... Wait, hold on. Hold on any second now. Alright, this is next dice. This is gonna be... Alright, this next dice. This is gonna be the one. Hold on, hold on. Okay, wait. Hold on. Just a sec. Almost there. Finally! I'll take it. It's not perfect, but this will do. This is gonna take forever else. <laughs> yep, you guessed it. This character, we're gonna be a mage. I want to relive my nostalgia and make an ice lighting mage. It was my first main. I actually wanted to make a dragon knight, but then I remembered that they learn like no new attacks in second job. And it takes a while to get to level 70 in Classic Maple Story. So it's gonna be my first main in the Ice Lighting Mage. Alright, we got that classic Maple Story Island starting experience. Meeting Hina for the first time. And just like before, we're going to complete quests around Maple Island to level up. Since I'm going to be a mage, we're not going to deal any damage with our regular attacks. So uh, questing it is. Starting out as a mage is super annoying, but at least we can jump advance at level 8. So we got that going for us. If there is one thing that sticks out, it's how big the maps are in this version of Maple. Just walking around, getting from A to B, that's a huge part of the experience. You're gonna see plenty of walking in this episode. Everything is just nice and slow. And exploring is a huge deal. Stat-wise, we're not going to be a luckless mage, no, we're just gonna go for the standard build. I'm not sure if Maple items are actually released yet, can't take that risk. So far, the snails are no match for our Mighty Axe as we slash our way through the early levels. Oh man, this map brings back so many memories. We're going to have to deliver a letter to Chief Stan, if I remember correctly, from this quest. And at the right, you can go to Armhurst or that harbor town where you can go to Lith Harbor. Wait, what the heck? Rain doesn't have her quiz? What is this? This is a scam. This is not what I remember. We can't even get the relaxer, but we get a shield instead. Okay, maybe, maybe they didn't implement chairs yet. But how can we recover HP if we don't have chairs, man? What the heck? This I feel like this is a, a watered-down version already, man. What the heck? No quiz, no chairs. All right, we got another kill quest from Mai this time. She's a little different from what I remember that she's right now. She's now actually a fierce warrior. And thank goodness we have beginner skills. I was worried this wouldn't be in there. And the snail shell skill does not cause snail shells to use, just like it was at the very beginning. At least that makes things a lot easier. I'm also going to max HP recovery as the one is going to be super useful in old school maple. And we don't have chairs, so we gotta get that one too. Yo, is that a scroll? If that's a decent one, we're going to be super rich. If we can sell it in the free market, of course, as a non-Korean person. Oh, I also got a razor. Is that one of the best weapons you can get on Maple Island? Not counting event weapons. Alright, so the scroll is for MP. Well, there goes my dream of being a rich noob. Also, this snail shell throwing skill is pulling its weight. <laughs> Leveling goes so much easier this way. And with the final my quest done, we reach level 8. Dude, that took forever. Just like how I remembered. I completed a few more quests, so we're almost level 9. So we don't have to grind really hard outside of Maple Island. And in the past, if you outleveled your job advancement level, you wouldn't get skill points. So I'm not uh, taking any risks on that. And there we are, Lith Harbor. No introduction quest, no nothing. A truly classic old school Maple Story experience. Every character is an unwritten book, and you can go figure out yourself what you want to do. Looks like there's no regular taxi either, but thankfully there was this one dude that could send me to towns, and he gave me a 90% discount as I'm a beginner. Really awesome fellow right there. So uh, I did a bit of a whoopsie when I job advanced. I got one SP from the job advancement, but I was also able to spend it in my beginner tab. And I just figured, I don't know why, I was thinking like, oh, I have this one SP left, that's kind of weird, guess I'll just assign it to the speed up skill. But no, that was also my skill point for the first job advancement. <laughs> so that's a bit of a whoopsie right there. Anyway, of course, like the good old Maple Story player that I am, I walked straight to the slime tree. Muscle memory kicking in, I still actually remembered where it was. Oh boy, look at that, we're getting 1.2% per slime kill. That means we would only have to defeat 93 slimes to level up. Old school Maple Story is brutal. One level up later, and we finally get Energy Bolt. And well, my character's messed up anyway, so we might as well put a point in Magic Law so we can grind faster. Next, we need to put five points in MP Recovery so we can unlock our MP Improvement skills, so we can get more MP every time we level up. Early game magicians, that's the real struggle. And what the heck? I'm too spoiled by modern Maple Story. <laughs> Magic Law deals no freaking damage. <laughs> and it costs a ton of MP as well. 
Back to throwing snail shells it is. We're gonna get a lovely 0.8% EXP per kill. So reaching level 10 definitely took a while. At least we got some consumables from the starter quest to help us stay topped up so we can keep spamming the snail shell skill over and over. But yeah, in old school Maple Story, getting a job advancement or new skills doesn't really mean much from the get go. Only after getting a few more levels in them, they're actually gonna be useful. We reach level 10, woo! Traversing the old maps in Maple Story is a hugely time consuming task, and I'm not sure if only I did this, but usually if it takes too long to walk, I just strategically KMS, uh, kill myself, so that I spawn back in town. <laughs> we just leveled up so we only lose a little bit of exp anyway all oh, right we, we lose the exp when we die that's the price of fast traveling since i worked so hard i treated myself to some new items maybe once we're around level 20 we can try to hunt green mushrooms for a panlet but for now i want to indulge in a bit more nostalgia so we say goodbye to the slime tree and instead travel to hennessy's let's check out if mushbomb is home oh wait a minute this could be dangerous Wait, does Mushmom spawn a few maps further? Oh yeah, this is of course a proper MMO, so we found some other people. In case you're wondering, like, where the heck is everyone? I'm playing at like 3 a.m. local time, so that's probably why. Alright, yep, the Iron Hawks are still here, and yes, they deal a lot of damage. Ah, can we make it? Oh my god, the knockback is so annoying. I'm not gonna use any potions, though, that would be a waste. Oh my god, we made it. Alright, that was definitely worth it. And who doesn't remember the classic Hennessy's Hunting Ground 1? No one's showing off their third job skills at the moment, though. Alright, those green mushrooms, they're way out of our league. I also, I remember spamming pet food so I could climb up that rope and not teleport to the next map. Pretty sure almost everyone in Classic Maple Story did that. Let's go to Pig Beach next, which will be our next grinding spot now that we're a little more geared up. Still have to use our snail shell skill, though. <laughs> the other ones just deal no damage. And while we walk there, let me quickly explain what the heck it is that I'm playing. Right now we're in a game made in MapleStory Worlds. The creator, or creators of this game, basically recreated old school MapleStory by using MapleStory assets that are available for everyone to use in the MapleStory Worlds game engine. It's the closest thing we can get to playing an official old school server. And this current game that I'm playing is all the rage in Korea with over 100k people already playing it. But of course because it is sort of remade in MapleStory Worlds, it isn't going to be an exact carbon copy. There will be some differences like the UI being pretty big and the HP bars looking a bit different. But I think they did an amazing job, it's super close to the actual thing. Right now, MapleStory Worlds is only available in Korea, but it will be made available everywhere eventually. It was actually shown and announced to be coming to the West during last year's MapleStory Fest. But looking at an excellent job opening site for the longest time, they had a tough time hiring someone to take care of this uh, project. So I assume it was delayed a little bit. By the way, Next in America is uh, still looking for a community manager for MapleStory M if you're up for that challenge. Maybe during this year's MapleStory Fest they will finally reveal the global release date, that'll be cool. I wonder though how they're going to deal with the localization because I don't think games like this will reach their full potential if they are only available in Korean. Holy crap, walking around takes forever. Glad I'm a mage so I can eventually get teleport. Only the third job assassins got flash jump if I remember correctly, the hermits. Alright, finally, big beach. Ah oh, yeah, you have to walk all the way around to get out of the map. At least there doesn't seem to be an iron hawk roaming around, so we got that going. A bit of hunting later, I reached level 11. This whole episode took about 90 minutes of game time from start to finish. I usually train from level 1 to level 200 with burning in the same time in modern maple story. <laughs> what a difference. I'll keep grinding so that next episode we can explore around, around the old school period and Kerning city maps. Old school maple story is all about exploring and having fun, so I'm not pushing for levels. You don't see me reach third job anytime soon. Also because grinding is just so slow. And that was the first episode of this nostalgic series. Thanks for watching and is there anything you'd like for me to show in the next video? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed and special thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Jesus Rodriguez, Kali Mora, Wai Li, Riser Aryu, Backspace OTI, Ziggy Deer, History Cannon, Safronix, Flidiot, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Suratito655, Michael Menchaka, Rathius, Afterlord, Betrayal1489, Silvio Nato, Striker Elk, Tidal One Fun, Victor Sundstrom, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Ben on Games, The Passenger, Kani Wu, Max Bernhardt, Mukau1017, BNB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Gabriel Eck, Feco, Vake Botnet, Dante Victory, Matinu Death, Snack, HBG, Only, Lord Fasil, Spots the Kaiser, That Archie Guy, Louis Bento Brandao, 
Snuffle Pop, Tails Curse Pet, The Wolf Rake, Gaber Wolf, Live Love, Maple Story, Kali, Darkfoos, Quinn, Migu, and Mark Set. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!